The NAB Show is the world's largest electronic media show covering filmed entertainment and the development, management, and delivery of content across all mediums. With more than 93,000 attendees from 156 countries and over 1,550 exhibitors, the NAB Show is the ultimate marketplace for digital media and entertainment. From creation to consumption, across multiple platforms and countless nationalities, the NAB Show is home to the solutions that transcend traditional broadcasting and embrace content delivery to new devices in new ways. This is where Riedel Communications, the supplier of world-leading real-time networks for video, audio and communications is present and announces the next step for the broadcast industry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Riedel's NAB booth and to Riedel's press conference. You might have seen me four years ago here at the show introducing a product uh, called Medionet which we have sold over the last uh, four years quite successfully. There's 2,000 plus systems in the market and after four years we just felt uh, it's uh, time for the next step. Well, what's the next step? It's about, two, it's about Medionet 2.0, and what is that? First of all, Medionet goes 10 gig now. And what does that mean? On a 10 gig connection in Medionet, we can put three times the bandwidth compared to what we have done so far, which talking about HDSDI signals on one of our high street high speed signals is six HDSDIs. So basically six times HDSDI on one high speed and then using our frequency division multiplex technology which allows us to multiply this with 18 basically gets us to 108 HDSDI signals on one single fiber and again that's just one fiber and you can have many so I would say the density of what you get uh, on a 10 gig connection is probably the best you can find in the market currently the first product which uh, basically carries the 10 gig connections is called Metron The Metron is a node which consists of 64 times 10 gig, 64 times 10 gig, which is quite some switching capacity. Thinking audio for a moment, that would be an equivalent of a 100,000 by 100,000 audio router. Um, talking HDSDI videos, this basically is an equivalent of a 384 input and whatever outputs because we're only limited on the inputs with the bandwidth then so a huge router which uh, well does not even need a router anymore because we are talking about uh, we're talking about a network here which can replace routers which gets me to a second point should look like a router. So basically that icon stands for Medionet replaces routers now because we do not only have the switching capacity of uh, basically the 384 HDSDI signals or hundred thousands of audios but also we have a switching speed which you can compare with any audio or video router. We are switching quicker than one video frame. So that's the second point. For the ones who don't know Medionet, well, just as a little reminder, you have nodes within a fiber network and they are connected on whatever topology. It might be a ring, a star, or daisy chain, or any combination. Now, if you have a local network on Medionet, and you might have another one, so this is a bit smaller, 
This one is Las Vegas. The bigger one is Wuppertal. That's, by the way, where we are coming from. So now you want to connect the two. Currently, we are here in a local network as a real-time network. This one is in the real-time network as well. Now I want to go wide area network. And that, by the way, needs another icon. And the wide area icon is this. Okay, so what we introduce here as well as part of the MediaNet 2.0 story is our wide area connection, which basically has three chapters uh, how we do this. Number one is we have implemented a trunking feature to really connect independent MediaNet structures to one huge network and uh, also control this from one or many points. Certainly little features like user rights come into play here because you might not want to have the guy in Las Vegas control the guy in Wuppertal, that's for sure. So trunking is one point. The second one basically is about the encoding and decoding. So we're implementing an H.264 encoder to basically connect the two uh, to the two sites and not using basically the bandwidth for our native signals which we have here and there but basically to save bandwidth and make this uh, wide area uh, capable. And number three for the ones who don't want to use H.264 we also have a JPEG 2000 encoder decoder solution now and the combination of the three makes the one solution for MediaNet. So that's basically the big news about MediaNet. Most people have a certain picture in mind about MediaNet. Well, that's a fiber solution doing some kind of stage box point-to-point -point things. People might have heard, yeah, we're using that in Formula One at the Olympics and all these projects. That's all right, but you should have another look now because MediaNet 2.0 is really new and changes that whole picture again. So basically, that's the main story. There's lots of details about this, and certainly our guys have prepared uh, packages uh, for you. So there is press packages with all the information. But I wanted to give you really a direct view on that story. And uh, well, that's mainly it. I mean, certainly there's some more news on also on the intercom side of things, which are still very important to us. I mean, we don't forget our roots. That's where we're coming from. And um, yeah, there is some new things there as well, but I don't want to go into the details there. Well, there's maybe one thing I should mention, also about MediaNet. We now have an integration for Sony cameras, and you should see that. And uh, basically, now there's a full integration that you can have a camera connected. Let me just make a little picture here. A camera connected to the MediaNet here, and on the other end, you have the CCU, and the signals are not just tunneled through that system, but we understand the full format of the Sony HD studio cameras. And that means that on the connections for video and audio, you don't even need to connect the signals here at the CCU, because when the camera hits the system, we already have all audio and video, including an embedding and de-embedding we do in the system. So that is also ready and available now. You can see that on the display over there. And other, th other than that, I would yeah, say thanks uh, for coming. Redale Communications designs, manufactures, and distributes the most pioneering real-time networks for video, audio, and communications for broadcast, pro audio, event, sports, theater, and security applications worldwide. The products reflect today's leading edge technologies that translate tomorrow's demands into today's solutions. Competent Riedel experts present the complete variety of new and known technology to an interested international audience here at NAB 2014. The experience of numbers of large scale events such as the Olympic Games, Formula One races or World Cups to name a few is the base for new developments for an even better future technology for the broadcast industry.